All right, so um, example 14 is asking, is the function um, f of x is equal to x squared plus 4 onto? Um, f of x is a function in which um, the domain elements are real and the codomain elements um, are real. All right, so let's use the calculation approach first. We're going to let y be an element in the codomain. So y would be f of x, um, and that would be equal to x squared plus 4x. So let's make x the subject. We have what? x squared plus 4x minus y is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. So using the quadratic formula, x would be equal to minus b, which is minus 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So b squared would be um, 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is minus y. So it's plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, which is 2 times 1. So this is minus 4 plus or minus the square root of um, 16 plus 4y. And this is over 2 times 1, which is 2. All right, so what else? And what we want to look at now is um, um, if there are values of what um, y for which there are no values of x, and they are. Um, in the first place, well, I could factor out um, 4. So I could do this, minus 4 plus or minus the square root of four into four plus y over two. This is minus four plus or minus, now the square root of four is two and the square root of four plus y divide by two. Um, this is minus four over two plus or minus two, the root of four plus y over two. So this is x is equal to minus two, plus or minus the root of four plus y. All right, so um, this is what um, x is equal to. Now, what happens if y is less than minus four. So what happens when y is less than minus four? So when y is, for example, equal to minus five, x would be equal to minus two plus or minus the square root of four minus five. So x would be equal to minus two plus or minus the square root of minus one. Now, the square root of minus one is not real. And remember in the definition of f of x, um, the, the range values must be real. So when y is minus five, um, the value of what um, x is imaginary. When y is equal to minus 5, the value of x is imaginary. So what they are saying is that, what this is showing is that there is a value of y 
for which there is for which there is um the value of x is not real so in other words there's a value of y for which there is no value of x so um we can also show that um f of um minus 2 plus or minus 4 minus, sorry, sorry, 4 plus y is equal to y. That can be shown. That's not the issue. The issue is that from the calculation, we can show that there are values of y for which the value of x is imaginary. Or there is a value of y for which there is what? Um, no value of x. So I can make a statement. Um, since um, there are values of y. So what are those values of y? They are um they are y less than um minus four. So since there are values of y for which there are no values or value of x, f of x is equal to x squared, is it minus 4, plus 4x. plus 4x is not onto. All right, so that is the calculation approach. Um, let's use the, um, let's do the um, graphical approach as well. Now for the graphical approach, we need to draw the graph or draw a sketch of the graph of f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x. Um, we need the turning point. So a is um, 1, b is 4, and c is equal to 0. Remember the turning point. In this case, it's a positive x square graph. So the minimum turning point is minus h k. Now h is equal to um, b over 2a. So this is 4 over 2 times 1. So this is 4 over 2, which is 2. So B is H is two and K is equal to F of minus H. So K would be equal to um, minus H is minus two. So it's F of minus two, which is minus two square plus four times minus two. So this is four minus eight this is minus four. So our minimum turning point is, um, is two minus four. All right, so now that we have our minimum turning point, if I wanted to, I could determine the x-intercepts by saying x squared plus four x is equal to zero x, x plus four is equal to zero. So x is equal to zero or x plus 
four is equal to zero. So X is equal to minus four. So X is equal to zero and X is equal to minus four are my intercepts, my X intercept. So I'm now drawing the sketch of my graph. This is my Y axis. This is my X axis. Minus two, minus four. Um, two minus four is the turning point. Two minus four, this is, no, it's not two minus four, it's minus two minus four. Because um, minus H is minus two. Minus two minus four is my turning point. Um, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. All right, minus two, minus four is here. This is my turning point. The graph cuts the x-axis at zero and at minus four. So my graph could look something like this. It's a positive x square graph, therefore it is a smile. Not the most perfect, but definitely, let's do it over. All right, let's draw the other side. All right, so this is a sketch of my graph. And this is a sketch of um, f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x. And our objective is to determine if the function is onto, that is our objective. So um, we need to, um, every horizontal line that can be drawn must cut the graph um, at least what once. But it's clear that if I draw a line parallel to the x-axis below the below y is equal to minus four. So if I draw a line parallel to the x-axis below y is equal to minus four, we'll notice that it does not cut the graph at all. So therefore, since a line a line parallel to the x axis can be drawn that does not cut the graph f of x is not onto. All 